So guys, the brand new water box got delivered today and I personally could not think of a better way to kick off this channel. Well, this package came pretty much remarkable. I mean, there's, you know, some rip in the um, shrink wrap, but that's because there's a board separating these two pieces and there's no way for this to not rip. But everything else is pristine. The delivery driver was really cool and I had fun talking to him about Joe Rogan for a while um, and about how he lives in, in Florida and the things going on down there right now. Um, but otherwise, fantastic experience so far. Um, I'm gonna start unpacking this and bringing it upstairs to where it's gonna live. You guys wanna take a look at how it's packaged minus the shrink wrap. Looks like the lights and light assembly, cabinetry, and then the sump, um, the, the tank and the sump combo, and I'm assuming also the plumbing because it's marked in here, all come in there. So triple tier box of fishy excellency. And we're gonna start taking this stuff all upstairs. So the water box is in the room that it's gonna end up in, and let me take you on the journey of what I had to carry it up. That's one flight in a narrow hallway. Don't mind all my laundry. And here's the second flight in this tight, tight turn all the way up these stairs. But it's here, it's in the room that it's gonna end up in. Um, I'm kind of debating whether or not to completely replace where this tank is. And you know, part of my mess, I had to move so much stuff around. Um, so I'm kind of debating whether or not I'm going to completely replace this tank and put the, the water box right here or move all that stuff over here, put the water box over there. So this is gonna be the part of the video that you guys have probably all been waiting for. Um, I had the water box entire setup right here and we're gonna unbox um, every piece of it right now, um, especially the aquarium and the sump. Now I'll show you everything that came along with it. It's been actually a couple of days since I shot the first part of the video. I've had to do some things like make water, make an aquascape and stuff like that. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you what I did there as well. But um, I think this is gonna be the part of the video that you guys have all been waiting for. So let's go ahead and get to unboxing. All right, let's go ahead and get this tank out of here. I've already sort of opened some of this, but this is the first look for you guys on this tank. So first and foremost, uh, this is like roughly the size of what would be considered maybe a taller 40 gallon breeder. Um, but the quality of this thing is just ridiculously good. The glass is super thick. It definitely seems deep. Definitely seems like a deeper tank. One thing I definitely noticed off the rip is that they black out the bottom and the back off the rip, uh, which is huge. If you guys have ever, you know, painted a tank like this one, I painted that black all, you know, kind of by myself. So that's one less thing that you got to do, but let's get this tank out. Brought a knife, but I don't even think I need to use it. So here's the tank. I have not even seen this thing. This is the first time I've seen it and we're seeing it together. It's heavy. It's heavy. It's very heavy. Alright guys, this is the tank. It is beautiful. 
got this beautiful etched water box logo on it. But otherwise, man, this whole tank is just absolutely beautiful. So yeah, that's the tank itself. Um, it's an absolutely gorgeous tank. Got a little bit more packaging down here. Anyway. So anyway, that's the tank itself. It's an absolutely beautiful tank. Um, I don't see any imperfections on it at all. Beautiful etch water box logo. Um, I think this is going to be a blast. This is going to be very fun. Super good packaging. Definitely takes some effort to get it get it out, but use I need to use my brain a little bit <laughs> instead of just going like Hulk smash mode. But you know, otherwise it it went very well. But next up is the sump. You guys, here is the sump. Um, the sump I kind of already unboxed because um, honestly I needed the cardboard for a DIY um, aquascape project. But this is how exactly how it comes out of the box. It's packaged inside of the main tank, and then it's in a box by itself. Same ultra low iron glass. You can tell the quality again, that green tint here in the glass. And this is everything that comes with it. Uh, it's got a little bit extra protection, I guess, on the corners. I guess that's what these are. Well, this is everything that comes with it. So, so the sump is laid out. This is the return. From the return, the water comes in and then goes into the filter sock chamber, um, rolls over the filter socks, out through this hole down here into the main chamber, and then out through the exit chamber here. Um, this is the auto water top off over here. Um, I want to say it was like eight gallons. I'm not really 100% sure what it was, but I'm pretty sure it's about eight gallons. Um, what comes with it. Yeah. So overflow lid, filter socks, another filter sock. I think they're both the same. Two felt filter socks. This is part of the plumbing. I don't know why they put this in here, but this is actually part of the plumbing itself. Um, so that's there. Um, from there, another piece of this same plumbing. I don't know why I have two. So I'm pretty sure it only has, yeah, there's only one hole on each side. So um, I guess we'll have to see. Um, a manual, and then these are two um, sock silencers. Um, one thing I've noticed about both of these, and, and if you guys have ever you know, set up your own aquarium. A lot of times what you have to do is do things like blacking out certain edges just for, you know, aesthetics and also putting a layer of something underneath the tank to smooth out irregularities in the surface that you're putting it on. The main tank has already got that. This has already got that. So it's almost like Waterbox is taking its time to, to really make sure that um, the tank is 100% ready to go out of the box. Like they're taking a lot of the little things off your plate of things to do like you know blacking out the back which is a day's work of you know waiting for paint to dry um finding something to put underneath the tank like this tank right here um which is probably not 100 percent right i have a big old half inch thick layer of plywood um and honestly as you could tell it's not touching every spot but um otherwise they've taken care of everything um so next up we have the cabinet, we have the pump supplies, and then the light box. And that's everything that's come with my water box aquarium. So let's get into the next stuff. So up next, we have the aquarium cabinet box. Um, I'm not going to bore you with this entire thing. I know that the cabinet is not the most exciting thing. The tank is way more exciting. The sump is way more exciting. The light box over there, the AI Prime light box is way more exciting. But I wanted to show you guys how this is packaged. I, I was actually kind of concerned putting such an expensive tank setup on top of a plywood cabinet. I don't like wood for my cabinets, as you can see. You know, I like metal, but honestly, when it comes down to it, metal's kind of overkill. Wood is more than acceptable. And when I carried this up the stairs, oh my God, I almost had a hernia. Um, this thing has got to be quality with how heavy it is. It is a hundred pounds out of the box. I think it says on the box. So it says in the box right here, 99 pounds. So, I mean, if it's 99 pounds of wood to hold this tank, it should be more than good. Um, I've seen a couple of these set up. I've seen a couple of people set a cabinet up like this, um, but to be honest with you, I don't think I've ever seen it unboxed. So we'll see how it comes on, comes uh, packaged. I did get the black one, which I think is gonna look really cool. Yes, I just cleaned the 100 pounds. I'm gonna be setting all this up tonight. I'm mixing salt and I'm hoping to have this aquarium set up um, this weekend. Today is Friday, so I'm hoping to be set up with fish in the tank tomorrow. Um, okay, so we got instructions and the cabinet. 
Comes first with the bottom part. All very well packaged. They definitely did not want you to mess up your aquarium stand, but um, when I saw this, I was actually kind of thinking that it was going to be a little bit more gloss, but this is definitely more matte, which is honestly quite a bit more my style. I'm definitely more of a matte fan than a, a gloss fan, but that is the, the color and it looks really good. Um, it's just kind of all sandwiched together here. Um, it looks like all the pieces are roughly the same looking, but if you look at something like this, and I'm kind of a quality nerd, but if you look at this, you can see the wood grain. Like that's 100% plywood. That's not press board. It's not press board, it's plywood. It's real wood, but it's plywood. So this will hopefully be set up today. Um, there's really no, I really don't have any reason to rush. Um, I have a giant barrel, a giant brute barrel of salt water of RO making right now, and I'm gonna mix some salt water in it tonight. You know, if, if this is just too much to take on a day, then it's just too much to take on a day. Let's do the AI box. I don't think you guys really care about the plumbing. Um, plumbing's really not exciting, but let's get into the light box. Okay, if you're a saltwater fish fan, you know exactly what that symbol right here is. This is definitely one of those things that you can get really nerdy with in the fish tank hobby, and that is lighting. They definitely potato chip this. Um, it's a mostly empty box, um, but we'll see what's in it. It looks like we have both of our light arms. So we got two light arms. All right. So we have two light arms in here. It looks like probably just two box AI primes. So this comes with pretty much just the two arms and the two lights. There's nothing else in the box. I'm actually really hoping that these lights are black. I'm really actually hoping that this light is actually black um, because everything else is black on this tank. Um, I was not given an option for the color of the lights, but we'll pop one open and see what it is. Happy day. It's a black light. Nice. These are great. These are great lights. Got everything in it. Um, this will probably be one of the last things that we set up is the lighting. You know, you're stressing these fish out, putting them in, you know, I'm gonna put them in a different tank and I'm gonna move them around twice tomorrow. You know, there's really no reason to, to light it up immediately either. But um, I'm very happy that those two are black considering that everything else is black. So, hey, you know, I don't know why I doubted water box water box is gonna do me dirty or something like that and give me mismatched lights and whatnot but um looks pretty good to me so guys that is roughly everything that you get with your water box aquarium you get your 90.3x tank you get your sump and all the accoutrement with your sump you get your stand high quality plywood get those two words to go together and then you have in your your box with two ai prime 16 hd lights and other than that the only other thing that i did not uh, mention is the plumbing kit it's literally a box of pvc tubing not the most exciting thing i think the only thing i'm missing here is what the return pump i picked was and i went with the water box um, recommendation and that was with the ch synchro silent 4 um, it's the exact one they recommend uh, we might do an unboxing of that as well and see what's in there um I honestly usually don't follow the exact manufacturer's recommendations, but honestly, BRS had very good reviews of these and it's one of their best sellers. Ryan, and Ryan and Randy both recommended the CHA line. So I've never heard of them, but if they recommend it, then I'm happy with it. Um, one thing that I'm probably gonna do is that will be my um, backup slash maintenance pump um, after like about a year or so. And I'm gonna hook up two smaller pumps to the sump. Um, I'm gonna follow what Ryan and Randy say, and that is hook up two smaller. That way, if one breaks, you always have another one. I think that's a fantastic idea. I'm very Boy Scout when it comes down to that stuff. I completely agree that, you know, two is one and one is none. So, this is everything, guys. This is everything. So, hopefully, what we'll have here soon is a completely set up aquarium. All right, guys. So I got some work to do tonight. I'll see you guys in the next video. Deuces.